Welcome to the video edition of Arts and Times, the Tri-County Arts Calendar. Each quarter, we highlight regional artists who work and exhibit in our area, as well as some of our must-see cultural and natural attractions. Todd Crosby has been delighting local audiences singing jazz standards, Broadway show tunes, and much more for quite some time. He began as a small child after being volunteered by his mother at the age of five for a small part in a production by the Minneapolis Opera. My mother was an actress in the local community theater. Said that they were struggling trying to find a boy soprano for the project they were doing. And my mother said, oh, my son can do that. I said, oh, I can? All right. And that's how I started. I did my first singing ever publicly was with the Minneapolis Opera, singing for this Christmas program as the little boy soprano. And I was hooked. They've done it ever since. 43 years. It was not long before Todd moved to the place of his family's roots here on the Eastern Shore. He spent the rest of his upbringing here and went to Washington College. His musical career took him to New York, Nashville, London, and beyond, but he kept coming back to Delmarva. Well, when I did the Boardwalk Cabaret, I was 16. Um, and it was new to, to, to Ocean City. It was the second year that they had the cabaret. It was um, really, really lively and vibrant. They sold out every night. There were it was a standard sort of um, uh, regional theater kind of setup. You had four girls, four guys, a couple of, of understudies, and we rotated shows every two weeks. It really was a good sort of training ground for keeping going and more, you know, learning new stuff as you work. And then when I came down to, do the, to work at the Atlantic Hotel, I was still working in New York, but Gary asked me to come and sing at the Atlantic Hotel because he had this idea that he could do, reproduce what we were doing in New York at, with singing waiters and stuff and they ensured that there would be an audience for it. And it turned out he was right. Um, but what's been good about that is both at the Atlantic Hotel and now down here at the Blue Dog, is it's given me the opportunity to get people who are interested in theater and interested in doing things to step up and get involved and start doing things again down here. Todd and his partner, Gary Weber, own and run the Blue Dog Cafe where a variety of artists perform. One group, the WW Tunes, got together as part of a countywide library event the Big Read, whose theme was the World War II era. Eventually, their act was developed into an off-Broadway show. We do a lot of, um, actually, stuff from the 30s through the 60s. Um, and music that all of these musicians have liked and played with other bands. Um, and then on Saturday nights, we have two different piano players who we rotate here. We have Kathy Silva and Earl Beardsley. Earl Beardsley, local guy, everybody knows who Earl is. He's a honky-tonk. I call him a honky-tonk player. The way he plays is very sort of Fats Waller-ish kind of honky-tonk. And he and I do a large, so we do some Fats Waller stuff, and we do stuff, a lot of Broadway stuff that, that Earl likes. I like it too, but it's, with each musician, I'm, I, I sort of sing what works for them in a lot of ways. And with Kathy Silva, she is a, a, everybody might know her from the Sheraton. She played there for a decade or so. And she has a, a very light and smooth touch. And so we do more, we do Journey and 70s and 80s stuff, in addition to doing the Broadway stuff. Good cabaret shows often tap into nostalgia for eras gone by, making the audience always feel like home. You know what? There's a song that I really like that uh, my friend John Bucchino wrote that was, um, uh, golly, the first song of his that I heard 24 years ago, sung by my friend Lois Sage. I hear your key in the door unlocking more than wood. The ceiling may not be dry yet, but it feels like home. Yes, we have come from a long way. Friends say wrong way still. I only know when you hold me, it feels like home. We don't need a dining room table, so far there's no one to invite. For me a cardboard box will do just fine, as long as I'm with you each night. It seems to me, if we never risk, we'll never win. And since we're in this together, 
It feels like home. Todd Crosby and his talented friends from here on the shore and across the country have shows at the Blue Dog Cafe in Snow Hill throughout the year. They also hold children's theater and adult cabaret workshops. Find out more at bluedogsnowhill.com. Thank you for watching this edition of Arts and Times. This Moonshell production was funded by the Worcester County Department of Tourism. Eat, Drink, Buy Art on Maryland's Eastern Shore. Visit eatdrinkbyart.com to find out about nine towns where great food goes with great art, all produced locally. You'll have a terrific time and take home a work of art you will always treasure.